One of the things with the uh, with new is they're really safety conscious. So once you've actually gone through the setup and the unboxing, which is really simple, really well done, super easy to put together. They've done a bunch of things though to just make it that extra little bit safe. And one of those things you're gonna notice right now. One of the safety things is that it has a top speed. It actually forces you to be in eco save mode for the first 200 meters. So you're gonna be crawling around right now like I am doing about five miles an hour, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and uh, you know what, that's all fun and games, not to worry. But you know what, I think it's really smart. Now let's pull over here. Yeah, right up onto the path. So I've passed the 200 meters and I'm able to turn on cruise control. I'm able to get logged into the account and just make sure everything is the way I want it set up for kick to start and those sorts of things. But this is the new KQI3 Max. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen the previous one, but if you did get a chance to look at the KQI3 Pro review that I did, and if you didn't, here's the link right up here, you'll recall I absolutely loved it. And in fact, it was my best budget scooter for 2022. So when New said, hey, we're gonna send you the KQI3 Max, which is basically the same thing, but with a bigger battery and a slightly bigger motor, I was, I'm just thrilled. So let's just run through some of the specs. It does have a larger motor. It's got a 450 watt motor, which peaks out at about 900 watts. It's got a larger battery. I'm gonna put the, the battery size right up here because I don't remember. <laughs> but other than that, bigger motor, bigger battery, it's very similar. And again, still competitively priced. Remember, I'm a professional. Take 57. The Max has four modes. It has e-save mode, which is what you're gonna be starting in when you first turn on your Max. Press the button once, it's gonna switch over to sport mode. That's gonna unleash the power of the Max. You can also have a custom mode just by logging into the app and going through some of the settings there. And last off, it has a pedestrian mode. So if you're walking along on the sidewalk or something like maybe with a group of friends and you don't want to push it along with you, you switch it over to pedestrian mode and it'll just take the power. You just use the throttle and it'll just go at the same speed as walking. Will somebody get this big walking carpet out of my way? I'm gonna go for a ride now with Michael here, my cameraman. We're gonna ride throughout Victoria. I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna share with you what I like, what I don't like about the new KQI3 Max. So what I really love about the new, not only does it have the dual brakes, it's got a really nice thumb throttle, which I love thumb throttles, but the maximum weight capacity, it carries me around. It's got a max weight of 265 pounds, which is funny because that's exactly what I weigh right now, right today. So I'm six feet tall, 265 pounds, and it's getting me around town, no problems whatsoever. What I wanna do next is I wanna show you the folding mechanism. So I'm actually just gonna go for a quick scoot down here, nice flat spot where I can show you the folding mechanism because if it's anything like the new KQI3 Pro, which, spoiler alert, looks just the same, um, I'm gonna be delighted with it because I love the news folding mechanism. So let me just quickly show you what it, how easy it is to fold. So there's a little release at the front and just pull it down. It's even got a safety catch on it, which is really handy. And it just folds down and watch this one handed and it's done. And now it's actually locked into place and it's really easy for me to take off with. Now, once that's done, let me just quickly show you now. The other thing, of course, is putting it back. And again, putting it back is so simple. Just one finger, there's a little button back here. You press the button, and now I can lift the entire handlebar stem back up. It's locked into place, and it automatically is locked, but you'll see there's a little bit of movement because I haven't locked it, locked it. It's got the catch on it so that it's safe. And then, boom, locked and it is super, super solid. Now it weighs about 43 pounds. What's that, about 20 kilos? So it's not super light, but you know what? It's totally fine for picking up and putting in the trunk of your car, maybe carrying it up a few stairs, um, you know, moving it around the office, that sort of thing. Absolutely loving this thing. And cut. So as I mentioned, one of the things I'm really loving are the brakes. Mechanical brakes, and it's just bringing me down to a stop really nicely. Also, we've got air-filled pneumatic tires, which of course I pumped up to 50 PSI just before we came out today. And one of the things that's got really cool is that it has punctureless, is that the term? Let me just check. 
<laughs> not punctureless, self-healing, regenerative self-healing tires. So I think what that means is if I get a flat tire on this thing, it stays healed up. So I don't know if maybe they've got some kind of goo inside to seal it all up, but uh, that's kind of gives you a little bit of, uh, yeah, a little bit of anxiety, a little assurance or an insurance against flat tires. So I'm pretty happy with that. Changing flat tires isn't exactly my line of work, dear. Anywho, I'm gonna scoot off. So we are here now with Michael and uh, we're waiting for the word of the day. Michael, word of the day? <laughs> I think it's uh, well designed, you know. Uh, it's uh, priced probably a bit higher in the uh, budget category, but it's got everything that you need and it's you know, the battery size will get you around a lot. Uh, Tim, it really seemed to uh, transport you really well. So what do I like, what don't I like, and who is the new KQI3 Max for? First of all, what don't I like? Nothing. I, I absolutely love this. You know, as somebody who rides an awful lot of electric scooters, there's a reason why the Pro was my number one budget electric scooter. It was just, it had everything in it. And this just kind of builds on that. It's a little bit more powerful motor, a little bit of a bigger battery for somebody like myself, you know, a little bit of heavier around the middle. It's gonna be perfect for me to get around town. And I'm not gonna have any range anxiety because it has such a big battery. What do I like? I do like the deck. The deck in itself is really quite sticky. The downside with the deck is it's gonna show up every little mark, but other than that, I'm okay with it. The handlebars, you know, the cockpit, if you like, it's very clear. It's not, you know, the top, it's not the best display I've ever seen, but it works. It comes with a bell, yay. Two dual, dual mo, uh, sorry, dual brakes, um, air inflated tires. Maybe it doesn't have a suspension. Maybe that's the one of the things I could say that it doesn't have going for it, but it's still pretty comfortable out there. I had no issues whatsoever. So it's a big guy approved, two thumbs up. I love it. I love the folding mechanism of it. I love the the height of the of the light. Yeah, I'm a bit. I'm I'm really sold on this. This is absolutely awesome. Not only is it big guy approved, but it's also auto approved.